If you were looking for instructions on how to replace the maintenance box and reset the waste ink counter on your Epson Workforce 2830 and similar models, then stay tuned. You won't want to miss this video. Hey, what is going on? The Printer Guy here. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to replace the maintenance box and reset the ink counter on the Epson Workforce 2830. So the first thing we're going to do is actually replace the maintenance box. We're going to go into our settings and from the settings, we are actually going to click on supply status. That is going to take us to the second option, which is the maintenance box service life. This is important to know, but this may vary. It may be that that sensor is a little bit off and your maintenance box may be a little bit more full than you're expecting. So at the back left corner of the printer, you actually have a compartment here that you can actually unscrew the screw that's on the back there and you can actually take off this panel. You will then have access to the maintenance box. We're going to pull out this maintenance box and we can actually discard this. There's going to be a link down in the description below for a new maintenance box. With that new maintenance box, you actually will receive a plastic bag so that you can discard this old maintenance box. Now here's our new maintenance box in the box, again linked down below, and uh, we simply will take it out of the packaging and we will begin to install it. It's very simple, just how you removed it is essentially how you'll be able to put it back. And you can see the difference here, one of them is inundated with ink, the other is totally empty and clean. Here's our plastic bag, we are discarding that old maintenance box and now I am going to install our new maintenance box. Now, this is not the end of the story. You also need to reset the ink counter. And to do that, you will need a software. And I'll be talking about that here in just a moment. But installing this maintenance box, then replacing the panel, and we want to screw that back in. Once the maintenance box panel is screwed in, Let's go back to our screen and you may get some kind of error codes initially, but just go through the prompts and you will be able to actually answer a question that will indicate whether you actually installed a new maintenance box. You're going to select start and you can see here that we have a fresh maintenance box. However, the counter within the printer still needs to be reset. That is where inkchip.net comes in. We are actually going to go to this website and when we first arrive at the home page, we are going to download the software. You do need a Windows computer for this. Now you're going to select WIC to get to the page where you can actually select your language and download the software. So we are still in the process of downloading the software. This is the application that's downloaded onto your Windows computer and you can open that up and begin the downloading process. You're going to click yes, okay, go through all the prompts to actually download the software and you will be presented with different languages. Of course, select your language, mine is English, so I'm selecting English. Uh, once I've done that, I now have this application that will be opened on my uh, computer and I'm going to select my specific printer model. Now it is important to note that you do need to be connected directly from your PC computer or laptop to your printer with a USB cable. So once all of that has been settled, we can now purchase a key, a reset key. So we are going to actually click on WIC and this is the page where we will be brought to where we can actually purchase a WIC key. Now you can use discount code best printers for 10% off. I highly encourage you to do that. Now this key is gonna cost you about $9 after the discount, and so you're going to purchase it. You are going to then receive an email with the actual key. You are going to copy this key and go back to your software, your application that's been downloaded. And that is where you can actually click on Reset Waste Ink Counter, insert your key, and then go through all of the prompts until you have successfully and fully reset your waste ink counter. All right, so once you have gone through the entire process, your printer may have reset, you can actually click on read waste ink counter and you should show all zeros on all three categories. And that will show and indicate to you that you have fully reset the waste ink counter on your Epson Workforce 2830. Again, remember to use inkchip.net and the promo code best printers for 10% off. Thank you so much for watching until the end of this video. I handpicked two videos that are here on the screen for you to watch next. Also consider subscribing to this channel. There's so much helpful content for you if you're a printer owner and it's just good to have a resource like this for you in the future, whether you're dealing with a printer that's not printing well or you need more printer recommendations. So I look forward to seeing you again in another video. <laughs>